Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about some ultra feminine, ultra flirty, ultra girly, pink, frou-frou la la fragrances. <laughs> so whenever I talk about frou-frou la la, some of you guys get it, and some of you guys are like, what's that sis, like what's frou-frou la la? So frou-frou la la are fragrances that make me think of the color pink, Fru Fru La La are fragrances that make me think of lace, make me think of doilies, make me think of dresses. Imagine somebody sitting in a garden, a beautiful garden, wearing a dress, like a Zimmerman dress, wearing gloves, white gloves, sitting at a table with all these beautiful Fru Fru La La women wearing beautiful hats, sipping on tea, with their pinkies up. Like for me, that's Fufu La La. <laughs> very feminine, very girly. It doesn't have to be bougie, but you know, just feminine, girly, nothing masculine, nothing unisex. Oh no, like we don't wanna smell like a man. No, we wanna smell like a feminine woman. That is Fufu La La for me. So I have two sides to my fragrance personality. I have my unisex side where I want to smell like a boss. I want to smell super uber uber sexy and just command the room. And then I have my frou frou la la side that I just love some sweet, fruity, floral, girly kind of fragrances because I have that personality. I have multiple sides to my personality. So if you're like me, and you have multiple sides to your personality as well. Like you can get down with the best of them, <laughs> you know, but you can also sit in the garden wearing Zimmerman and sipping tea. <laughs> so if you wanna know what made the Fru Fru La La list that's perfect for spring, then please continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you like this video, thumbs it up so YouTube knows you love my content. Leave me a comment down below so we can get to know each other and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Okay, y'all, so we gonna get this out the way, all right? Because this fragrance is not on the list. This fragrance is the list, but it's not on the list. <laughs> and that fragrance, of course, is Delina. This is an honorable mention. Before you click out, it's an honorable mention. I'm not gonna be talking about Delina a whole lot this spring, okay? Because we already know. But I had to add it in this video as an honorable mention because I mean, she's for Fru Lala. Like, this is Delina. Like, she's floral, she's sweet, she's fruity, she's tart, she's spicy. I love this fragrance and it's feminine, super feminine, nothing unisex. This is Fru Fru Lala. Like, when I think about this fragrance, I think of a woman sitting in a garden, literally at a tea party, with beautiful flowers surrounding them, a really long table. The table is decked out beautifully and they all smell like Zelina. <laughs> Y'all, it's an honorable mention, okay? We all know what this fragrance smells like. Some of us love it, some of us hate it. I'm one that's absolutely obsessed. I have the trifecta. I love all the Delinas. They definitely speak to my feminine frou-frou la la side and I will always love this fragrance. It just smells so beautiful. If you love rose, you'll love this fragrance. If you love tart, you'll love this fragrance. If you love a little spicy, you'll love this fragrance. It's definitely Fru Fru La La. So Delina is the honorable mention. Okay, so let's jump into the actual list. Y'all, if you're no stranger here, you know, your girl don't really do amouage. <laughs> because there's some amouage fragrances that I just, I mean, there's a couple that I do love. I don't own them yet, but I do have one in my collection. This was sent to me by the people at Twisted Lily. Thank you, Twisted Lily, for sending me this fragrance. Y'all, this is Blossom Love. First of all, I requested this fragrance, like, let's start there. I smelled this fragrance and I was like, I gotta have it. <laughs> I got to have it. Like, this is gorgeous. I don't hear a lot of people talking about this. Maybe it's too regular, like I don't know. It's not complex enough, but for me, this smells complex. Like it doesn't smell like a designer fragrance or something easy. It's a floral scent, it's a little powdery. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. Y'all, there's an amouage fragrance that I love, 
okay? Love this fragrance. I also love Honor Woman 43, the newer version of the Honor Woman. I love that, that's really pretty. That one, I'm considering making that join my collection as well. But y'all, Blossom Love, O-M-G. Why y'all ain't tell me? Y'all be like, did you try Guidance? Like y'all be beating Guidance down my head. Like maybe you need to let it dry down a little bit. Give it a chance, try it again. Uh, y'all want Guidance payroll? Like what is the deal? <laughs> like, Y'all are always telling me about Guidance. Why didn't anybody tell me about Blossom Love? Blossom Love is gorgeous. Super pretty, super frou frou la la, super feminine, perfect for spring perfection for spring and summer y'all i'm telling you this is easter this is your summer brunch with your girls your summer date day with your man or date night with your man like this is super sexy i love this fragrance definitely like honestly i would wear it in the evening but this is like a daytime like early type of fragrance for me because it's so floral but it has like a powderiness to it as well it is so gorgeous y'all so this one has cherry blossom there's nectar there's rose liqueur i've never heard of that there's ylang ylang amaretto vanilla tonka sandalwood cashmere y'all it's such a sensual and romantic fragrance it is so pretty so beautiful Definitely frou frou la la, and it lasts long on my skin, y'all. This lasted super long on my skin. I wanna say when I tried it, I haven't worn it out yet, okay? Like, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I haven't worn it out, but I did spray it on my hand. Like, I sprayed it here and sprayed it here, and, and I was clocking it. And it gave me like nine hours. Could have been more, like I was smelling it. It projects, you know, like I don't have to put my hand up to smell it. I was smelling it, Bay loved it. This is gorgeous. You have to love floral fragrances, but I feel like florals in the spring is so groundbreaking. Like how could you not? <laughs> how could you not? Like it is so pretty. I'm so happy that there's a few Amawash fragrances that I'm like, okay, I see you. I'm not running, I see you, like you're beautiful and I would definitely wear you. But um, yeah, Blossom Love and I have a 10% discount code in the description box, so check it out. I wanna say, I, yeah, I don't remember it. Just check out the links, y'all, <laughs> for the link and the code. You can save 10% on this fragrance. Okay guys, so the next feminine Fru Fru La La fragrance was sent to me by The Seven Virtues and it's their latest creation, Amber Vanilla. I just love this bottle, y'all. I love these pink flowers on here. It is so pretty. This fragrance smells like spring. It literally smells like spring. Like what you imagine spring smelling like, just beautiful blooms and just kind of like a warm breeze in the air. That is what this smells like to me. Now, this isn't a screamer. This isn't a beast by no means, okay? This is more like a second skin. This is like, your skin but better you know what i mean if you're someone that works in the healthcare industry and you're working around people and sick patients and things of that nature and you still want to smell good but you don't want to offend anyone with your scent this is perfection perfection you're gonna have to put your hand to you to smell it okay if you spray really really heavy and spray on your clothes <sighs> It's gonna give you a little something, but it's really not gonna do that much, okay? Because this is more of a softer expression, but it is so pretty, okay? This is something you could also wear to bed. This came to me in a PR package, and in the package came a travel spray, which I love, you guys know that, and also an eye mask, a sleeping mask. So to me, that says this is perfect for bed, okay? So this is the mask that came so yeah, so when I saw this, first of all, I thought this was a scarf because I've been sent PR by the Seven Virtues before and they sent me scarves. So when it was wrapped up like this, I didn't notice that it was a sleeping mask. I was like, oh, another pretty twilly scarf. But um, so when I opened it, I was like, oh my goodness, this is a eye mask. But I opened it after I smelled the fragrance. And when I smelled this fragrance, I immediately was like, this is perfect for bed. This is perfect for relaxation. This is perfect for being in the house. This is perfect for being zen. So pretty, y'all. Like, so girly, 
so for fru lala but it doesn't smell generic obviously it doesn't smell cheap it is beautiful this one has pink pepper pink carnation skin musk and broxen vanilla and isoe super like I said, guys, it's not a loud beast mode fragrance. It's more of a second skin. It's more of an aromatherapy type of experience. Very relaxing, very calming, very zen. It's not a screamer. However, it does last long on the skin because this has 25% perfume oil, okay? So it's definitely gonna last long on your skin. If you wanna smell yourself, for hours on end, you'll be able to smell yourself. But like I said, it's a closer to the skin scent. It is hugging the skin, but very feminine, very frou frou la la, super pretty. If you love vanilla and florals, you will love this because it's not too florally and it's not too vanilla. So it's right in the middle. So all my girls that don't wanna smell too floral or too vanilla, you will absolutely love this. But like I said, it's not gonna be kicking and screaming. She's not punching anyone in the face, okay? Very, very zen, very calm, beautiful, beautiful scent. Amber Vanilla by The Seven Virtues. Okay guys, so this next feminine Fru Fru La La fragrance, the bottle isn't giving feminine Fru Fru La La. It's giving the Jetsons, <laughs> it's giving like outer space, but the scent, the juice inside is very pink. It's very lace, it's very doily, it is very frou frou la la. And this fragrance is Moon Glory by The Harmonist. See, the bottle is giving like futuristic, like meet George Jetson, you know what I mean? <laughs> but the scent is giving ladies who lunch. It is so pretty. It's like, kind of like a, fruity tropical summer type of scent so pretty y'all like you would not believe the scent that's coming out of this very futuristic style bottle but i'm telling you it's not unisex whatsoever this is feminine frou frou la la to the 10th power okay very very pretty this has ylang ylang jasmine there's lychee honey passion fruit and let me just go back to the honey because honey in fragrances can be very, very off-putting sometimes for me. I told you guys before that honey in Killian fragrances, mwah, chef's kiss, love it. Honey in here, mwah, love it. Like, it's so good. Almost reminds me, like, of agave. Because, to be honest with you, I use agave more than I use honey. I definitely use honey and I cook with it. But whenever I'm sweetening my yogurt or my smoothies or whatever, I'm using agave because it's sweeter. So that's what this kind of reminds me of as opposed to like a honey. Cause sometimes honey can have that bitter, like just weird, funky smell. But this right here, gorgeous. So passion flower, lady of the night. There's white musk, hinoki wood. It is such a pretty fragrance, y'all. Like I said, not unisex, very feminine, very frou frou la la. It doesn't smell generic or anything like that because I feel like a lot of times when fragrances don't have like all this smoke and all this tobacco and all these woody notes and oud and all that, people can tend to think they smell generic. But no, like this is so pretty, it's tropical. It has like a slightly, slightly woody. And when I say slightly woody, I mean just enough to make it hang on to your skin, okay? Like you're not actually smelling the woody notes. You're more smelling the floral notes and the fruity notes and it smells so good, y'all. Ooh, it smells so good. And the honey in this fragrance, like I said, to me, it's more like an agave. Like it's super, super sweet, like, like a nectar type scent. Oh, I love it, okay? Moon Glory by The Harmonist. Okay guys, so this next fragrance, I have a love-hate relationship with it. I love how the bottle looks and I love how the fragrance smells, but there's a but. This fragrance is by Atelier de Ors and it's Pink Me Up. Gorgeous looking bottle, right? Like so pretty, very frou frou la la, very feminine. The scent is gorgeous. Let me tell you what I don't like about this fragrance. What I love about it is what I hate about it as well. I love how this looks. You know, the gold sparkles, it, it looks so pretty. But I, I'm the type of person that loves to spray my clothes. I spray my skin and I also spray my clothes. I don't want these gold flecks on my clothes, y'all. 
So that's what holds me back from wearing this fragrance more because my dent would have been like somewhere down here, like no cap. I love this fragrance. It's not super complex. It's nothing to write a book about, but it's really, really pretty. But I just don't like the fact that whenever I spray it, it gets like, I don't mind the gold flecks on my skin, especially in the spring and summer. But when it comes to my clothes, like what I'm wearing today, like I could never spray this on this white shirt because it's gonna leave the gold flecks on the shirt and I don't want that. But I love how it smells. So for me, this is strictly for the spring, summer when my skin is out, that's it. <laughs> or if I'm wearing something that the gold flecks isn't going to look obvious, you know what I mean? Like maybe something with gold or something busy. You know, I do wear colors and prints and things like that. So something like that, then I can spray this over my clothes, but just like on a regular basis, like I can't spray this on my clothes. So that is what holds me back from wearing this. But the scent is beautiful. This is like a champagne scent, but it's not like Dom Rosa champagne. That's champagne. This is champagne. Okay, like this is brunch, this is high tea, this is champagne. But um, it's fruity, it smells so good, y'all. It almost has like a refreshing type of fresh scent. It also has orange blossom and you smell the orange blossom. Let me tell you the notes. It opens up with bergamot and there's orange blossom. So I guess that's where I get that freshness from. There's blackberry, rose, champagne, musk, patchouli, and iris. Now I will say the patchouli in this fragrance, for all my patchouli haters, it is not a patchouli scented fragrance. Like literally the patchouli is there just to ground the fragrance and to make it smell, you know, a little exotic, like a little different, you know, but it's not giving you strong patchouli. It's not giving you dirty. It's not giving you earthy. It's nothing like that. And also the iris in this fragrance, it's not giving a super powdery, like lipsticky type of scent. You definitely smell like a little something powdery, but for me, what I'm getting mostly is blackberry, champagne, and orange blossom. And I'm okay with that. It smells so good to me, y'all. But like I said, it's just like, uh, you know, like it's pretty. Like I love the idea of it. I wish it was just in the bottle. You know how sometimes they have those bottles that have the floaters inside but the actual juice there's nothing in the juice i wish it was like that but you know other than that it's a really pretty scent if it's in stock you can save 20 percent on soavantgarde.com using my discount code the great 20. next up by bond number nine we have madison avenue y'all the bottle says it all very pink very frou frou la la very ladies who lunch, ladies who brunch, super feminine fragrance, y'all. Like it is so pretty. Now I will say, although it's a feminine scent and there's no unisex bone in the body, you have to love a tart scent because this has apple and you can tell it's a green apple. And I love apple. I love the scent of apple. I love a tart scent. This one has a, a little tartness in it. so. Even though it's a feminine frou frou la la fragrance, I still say get your nose on it because it may be off putting for you. Some people don't like tartness. Some people don't like that sharp scent. I do. And it's really easy and just like an everyday or just a brunch, lunch type of fragrance for me in the spring and summer. But some people may struggle with it, although it's a feminine scent. It has apple, blackberry, bergamot, rose, jasmine magnolia patchouli praline and ambroxan super beautiful it's not really sweet like you hear the praline but it's not like a gourmand type of scent um it's really like a pretty sweet tart floral to me and i love it it's easy for me but i will say get your nose on it you guys are always asking me like i want a bond fragrance what's the first bond i should get my first initial response is always to say madison avenue but then i think and i'm like okay you know what Although Madison Avenue is gorgeous to me, like I love it, Bay loves it on me. It's an easy reach for me. Somebody might struggle with the tartness of the apple, okay? So get your nose on it first, but if you love feminine Fru Fru La La fragrances, try this one out. It lasts forever on the skin. I have the body cream, I layer them together. What? 
like you can't tell me nothing i love it y'all it's so pretty so girly and it's just spring like it's spring in a bottle and y'all know i thrive in the spring and summer okay i know a lot of y'all mad right now <laughs> like y'all want some pumpkins y'all want pumpkin spice y'all want fallen leaves y'all want fall but listen spring is our time okay like all my spring summer girlies tap in <laughs> because the fall and winter girlies are mad right now but these fragrances make me happy and if you're someone that struggles with like loving spring and summer try smelling fragrances like these because these fragrances are uplifting they will definitely make you happy and they'll definitely get you ready for the upcoming season so madison avenue by bond number nine okay guys so next up is one of my favorite fragrances by parfums and marley I mean, I have so many favorites from Parfums and Marley. Like, it's hard to even say which is my favorite. But this one right here, y'all, this is aldehydic. It's powdery. It's clean. It's musky. It's floral. It's fruity. It is everything to me, okay? I know a lot of people struggle with this fragrance. But when I tell you, me and Valaya, like, we go together. We go together real bad, y'all, especially in the spring and summer. This fragrance is super pretty, super feminine, super frou frou la la. It is gorgeous, okay? I feel like you can wear this in a work setting because it's not offensive, but it's definitely not a skin scent. Like, people gonna smell you. You gonna get compliments. They are gonna wanna know what you're wearing. Like, they may be running you down the street, chasing you, okay? That is how good this fragrance smells. It is so pretty to me, y'all. I love it. Oh, and it even has like a creaminess to it, y'all. Oh my goodness, Valaya is everything. I mean, aldehydes, white peach, there's orange blossom, lily of the valley, vetiver, musk, and broxen, sandalwood. And the sandalwood in this fragrance is what's making it creamy, y'all. This fragrance, I realize it has a lot of aspects of fragrances that I love. It's powdery, it's musky, it's aldehydic, it's creamy, it's sweet, it's fruity, it's floral. Like it has everything in it. I just love it so much, you guys. I cannot wait for the next feminine drop from Parfums de Marley because I feel like whatever they come out with, like I'm always loving it. I'm a Parfums de Marley girl, okay? It is what it is. I'm feminine, I'm frou frou la la. <laughs> I love to smell sweet and flirty and girly. And these fragrances just do it for me. They don't smell generic. They don't smell too hard to understand, but they do smell unique and they smell upscale to me. I just love them so much, y'all. So Valaya by Parfums de Marley. So y'all, the next fragrance on the list is from another brand that I absolutely love. I wanna say I love, it all is gonna be a stretch. I'm not gonna say all, but the majority of the fragrances from this brand, I love. And I have a lot of fragrances from this brand. I was introduced to this brand by The Eva Monroe here on YouTube. She used to have these beautiful bottles in her videos. And I did my research and I was like, yeah, I need that. Like, I want them. And I smell them and I love them. This one right here, y'all, it's giving fruity, it's giving tropical, and it's giving a little gourmand. It is everything okay and the packaging can we talk about bomb bomb pop for just a hot little minute like y'all this just looks like an artifact i say it all the time it is gorgeous i love this bottle first of all the egg alone with this little stand here is just genius and then the color the painting on this is genius and then the juice inside is genius gorgeous feminine frufu la la it's tropical so if you love coconut and just like a tropical scent to your fragrances like tropical fruits and tropical florals you will love this if you love sweet like brown sugar praline type sweet you will love this it is so amazing and there's peach in this fragrance y'all and the peach is peaching you would definitely smell the peach in this fragrance it is so good to me y'all bomb bomb pop is i mean listen i don't think it's a safe blind buy but if you love peach i feel like it could possibly be safe ish okay now i will say this if you've ever smelled to bit by tiziana terenzi it doesn't smell like it but it kind of gives me just like a more feminine frufu la la vibe 
to Tibet without the musky dry down, without that amberiness that Tibet has. I love it, but I know a lot of people don't. So try Bomb Bomb Pop. I'm telling you guys, it also has the coconut. It also has the peach. It has the brown sugar. It shares similarities to Tibet, but it smells different. Like it's different enough for you to own both if you own both. But if you struggle with Tibet, try this one. I feel like this is easy for you. So this one has peach, coconut, bergamot, jasmine, patchouli, musk, brown sugar, precious woods, and amber. It's not super woody. It's not super ambery. Like it's not too much of anything. Like I said, you definitely smell the peach. You smell the coconut. It has like a tropical feel to it. It even smells like there's passion fruit in this fragrance, although it's not listed, but it kind of gives me like a little passion fruit vibe, but I'm here for it. I love tropical. I love passion fruit type of fragrances. So this is up my alley. If it's in stock, you can save 20% on soavantgarde.com using my discount code, thegreat20. Perfect for spring, perfect for summer, not unisex. It's feminine, pink, girly, lace, frufu la la, but not like, let me see, pink and lace, but let me say palm trees and pink and lace because it's definitely tropical. So if you love that tropical scent profile, you will absolutely love this Bomb Bomb Pop by the House of Oud. Okay, y'all, so this last fragrance, she got me up in my feelings, okay? Like this fragrance is so addictive right now. I was wearing it in January, like in the house, but y'all, right now in the spring, well, you know, spring is <laughs> approaching, spring, summer, she is going to shine and I cannot wait to wear this fragrance outside. This is by Suspiro and this is Dolce Melodia. O-M-G. Y'all, the obsession is so real. Like I cannot even begin to explain to you how much I love this fragrance. Y'all, let me tell you the notes. Okay, wait, let me tell you how it smells first. <laughs> I'm just all over the place, okay. This is like, it's fruity, right? Like it's super fruity, super sweet, but it also has like a bright citrus, sweet citrus, like almost like a tangerine type scent to it along with the fruits. So although it's super fruity, it's not giving you like Herba Pura or anything like that, Kirke. It's not giving that because of all the bright citruses in this fragrance. It also smells a little bit gourmand, like, it would smell like there's brown sugar in this fragrance, but there's no brown sugar. So let me tell you the notes. It opens up with mandarin orange, then there's orange, okay? So it's very, very citrusy, super bright and citrusy in the opening. There's saffron, girl. There's pear. There's gardenia, rose, black currant, jasmine, vanilla, white musk, and the most beautiful creamy sandalwood your nose has ever smelled. Y'all, it is such a gorgeous fragrance. If I had to put a fragrance together, I would want it to smell like this, okay? Like I would definitely want my fragrance to smell like this. Like this smells so good, y'all. The saffron just takes it to another place. But then you have the bright citruses in the opening, perfect for spring and summer. Then you have that pear. I love a pear. No, like it smells so good, y'all. I can't see somebody not loving this. Like, honestly, who wouldn't love this? Like, who? I mean, it doesn't smell generic. It doesn't smell like any fragrance I've ever smelled before, although it's super sweet and fruity and just mouth watering and good, but it doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't remind me of anything. It just smells so incredible and I'm obsessed, okay? If it's in stock, you can save 20% on soavantgarde.com using my discount code, thegreat20. Like I said, I feel like this is a safe buy. It's definitely feminine, definitely frufu la la, but you have to love bright, sweet, juicy, citrusy, uplifting fragrances. This is a fragrance that's gonna make you happy. It's gonna make you happy and it's gonna make you wanna bite yourself at the same time. Like, I don't know, I don't, I don't know how they did it. I don't know how they did it, it smells so good. Dolce Melodia by Suspiro. All right, guys, we made it to the end of the video. Leave it in the comments below and let me know what are some of your favorite feminine, girly, frou-frou la la fragrances pinkies up <laughs> let's talk about it below like we always do remember guys to stay safe be great stay great and always strive for greatness ai the great signing out but i'll see you in my next video peace